And here in the United States, former President Donald Trump says he will never ban the Chinese-owned social media app TikTok if elected president of the United States. This comes just days after he joined TikTok and amassed a following of nearly 6 million users. His remark came while speaking about his larger strategy to reach young voters ahead of the November 5th election. And in a major U-turn, this is Donald Trump's firmest comment in support of TikTok, which he once actually tried to ban during his term in office. The 77-year-old Republican issued an executive order to ban the platform back in 2020, citing national security concerns. However, he's had a major turnabout in his position since leaving the White House. Now in April, Donald Trump slammed President Joe Biden for approving a law that requires TikTok parent company ByteDance to either sell the app by next January or face complete removal in the United States. Now Donald Trump's change of heart came after he met businessman Jeffrey Yass, who has a 15% stake in ByteDance and reportedly donated heavily to the Republicans campaign. The former president is also using his TikTok presence to woo young voters who are the primary demographic active on the app. Now, TikTok claims to have more than 170 million users in the United States, which is more than half of the country's population. And now MAGA supporters are calling Donald Trump TikTok's favorite president after he surpassed President Biden in number of followers on the social media platform. The convicted felon debuted on the app just last week, and his first and only video has been viewed more than 120 million times. Meanwhile, President Biden has just over 370,000 followers with almost 180 videos. President Biden's campaign has vowed to continue using TikTok to reach young voters while the app is still not banned in the United States. And now as Donald Trump's popularity continues to dip post-conviction, it remains to be seen if a presence on TikTok will actually stop his slide in the polls. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issue, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison LaGrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. From elections to climate change, to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post. <laughs> 